rock and roll. Good morning. Mm. Hi. What's up, Anthony? Let's begin another week of hijinks. Ah, uh, that's what we do. Fun and hijinks. Oh, my God. Easiest money that could ever have been made. I certainly hope everyone took my advice, took the kids' college money, took the mortgage money, the car payment money, the uh, money for the wife's surgery, whatever, no matter how important that cash was, I certainly hope you took my advice. And put every single penny on the Eagles over the weekend because, uh, my God, it was an absolute lock with the points. The sports curse, it was a complete bloodbath for me for me over the weekend. I picked nine games. Yeah. I picked a few football games. I picked mm-hmm. a playoff baseball game. I picked a yep. hockey game. I was two for nine. And the two games I won, I don't even know because it was part of the football picks and they were throwaway games. Like, yeah. I'll take uh, the Chiefs. Yeah, it wasn't. I'll take the Packers. Nothing That's you cared about. because I kind of like Brett Farr. Who cares? Brett Farr. But the other games, I, I had passion behind. I had a reason why I was picking them. And yep. I, I lost all of them. Who is not believing in the sports curse at this point? Anthony put down a thousand bucks on the Eagles. Oh yeah. He told all of Philly to do the same. I told everybody in the country, it had to just be. I mean, look at this. Misfit, I'm uh, is saying I made four grand. Thanks, Opie. The, the people made made money. Look, here it is, Mike in Queens. What's up? You're on the Opie and Anthony show. Me? Yeah, let's go, Mike. Yeah, Mike Jersey, don't matter. All right. Hey, this is Mike from Sussex, and I just won $1,000 courtesy of the Opie Sports Curse. Why do do People, uh, I, I, pl- I pleaded with you. Brooklyn. Yes. Brooklyn Ace, faithful Congrats- listener. C- congratulations, Anthony. I-, I-, I knew on Friday that you had it. I was the last one to tell Opie not to do it, and he had to. But what are you going to do? Thanks, Opie. I really appreciated that yesterday. <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't one of those things where no matter what team he says, they're absolutely going to win or lose or anything like that. But when you uh, are, were so passionate about the Jets mm-hmm. uh, and they're your team, and uh, you said that they were going to win, well, Jets that at home, I knew. Jets at home need a big win. They need yeah. any kind of win yeah. at this point. And it Small wasn't like win. it wasn't like you were saying it like, oh, I want to show you how this sports curse works. You legitimately wanted the Jets to win. Yeah. You had them picked to win. And yeah. that's, that's when I just knew. I sensed it. It's time to strike. Uh, wait. You know, here's actual audio from Friday's show. Oh, okay. This is audio from Friday's show. Don't be confused, okay? Mm-hmm. Check this out from Friday. Got to take the Jets over the Eagles. I'm sorry. You have to. Sorry, Philly. Jets at home. Got to do it. Why would you do that? I have to. You bet with your heart. It really uh, is. Uh, all, right, all right. Look, look, look. Here, I'm, this is a tough I, I'm suggesting to Gotta everybody take right now. Got to take Right the now. Got to take the Jets. I don't Jets. care if all you have left is money for your children's food. Bet against the Jets. <laughs> I'm just telling you, if, if if it's your mortgage payment, your car payment, I don't care what money you have socked away somewhere for the most important thing in your life, take it and bet against the Jets. You won't regret it. That was from Friday's show. That was Friday's show. We are show. back live. That's how absolutely sure I was of this sports curse and Opie with the, especially the Jets. And for the most part, when we talk sports, Anthony kind of just hangs. Yeah. You know, you, you jump in when you when you can, whatever. But for the most part, you just kind of hang. Mm-hmm. Sports, is, you don't you don't have that same passion as you have for, like, Hitler. No. <laughs> I'm not a big sports guy. Nice nice choice of comparison. But for the most comparison. part, we all uh, have what uh, we're passionate about. Sports, you know, sure. you can hang with anyone talking about sports, but it's not... Your number one thing. Right. But, but when it came to the sports curse and me uh, picking teams on Friday, oh. you jumped on it. I had to. Uh, going back to Friday's show, more audio, talking about uh, the, you know putting as much money as possible down on the Eagles mm-hmm. uh, over the Jets. Here's from Friday. Philly still hates me because of the Philly uh, the you know curse. Yes. The sports curse. But I really did want the Phillies to win it all this year. So this was a tough decision here. 
And I have to go with the Jets. How do I bet on football? <laughs> I, I swear to you, I got to get into the – I got to bet against the Jets. Go go 1,000 right now. I'm going I'll, – I'll go 1,000. Go 1,000. I would absolutely bet $1,000 on Philly. I might know a bookie or two. How much you got? Give me – I'll give you a grand. All right, give I me a grand. I want one G. Give me a grand, and I'll make sure the bookie gets the money. One G – on the eagle, uh, absolutely. All right, absolutely. How many points? How many points? What's think, the spread? I think the Eagles are favored by three, if I'm not mistaken. All it's right, three, that's three not, and a half. No problem. I bet twenty five dollars. Wow, you, you're gonna bet a thousand? I'm good for a thousand dollars on the Eagles. And we're back live on this fine Monday morning. Anthony won a thousand dollars. Couldn't have been easier. And the Eagles uh, did, uh, you know. Oh, they covered. They covered the spread there as well. So. And then we move on to Brad in Boston. Brad, what's up? OP. Yeah. My friend, I, I love you guys. Love the show. Um, could, you, could you just do me a favor and maybe please say, like, go Cleveland one time in the podcast? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, did I watch that game. <laughs> oh, did I enjoy that 11th inning. <laughs> Let's not forget, I also uh, oh, was all about the Sox this weekend. Yeah, now, the, uh, you can't just change it. See, Brad thinks you could change it just by saying, Opie, root for the Indians. He Opie wants Boston to win. <laughs> don't, don't you understand this? He's not rooting for a team because he wants them to lose. He actually likes Boston, loves the city, uh, loves the people, and wants the team to win. Me being more of a Yankee fan, I I don't like Boston, uh, the Red Sox, and I don't want them to win. So I hate to see them just come apart at the seams in that 11th inning and watch every <laughs> pitcher just c- coughing up these great pitches that are just flying out of the park. It was 13-6, the final after 11 innings, and yeah. after, what, five and a half hours of baseball? Oh, yeah, it was a lot of baseball Where there. people had frostbite at the stadium at Fenway? Yeah. You see how cold they looked up there? They certainly did. But it was uh, it was a Red Sox loss well, in look, uh, in extra innings. I hate the Yankees. My Mets were out, are out, obviously, and then you know my second uh, favorite National League team, the Phillies, out. So I got to go Sox. Said it on Friday. You know they did win what Friday? Yeah, yeah. They, but they, they should have taken two at home. They and won. Then, yeah, they and then did. Saturday, thirteen to six. Yikes! Yeah, that was a little rough, and it was tied up at the beginning of the eleventh, and then uh, oopsie. Yeah. Wow. Let's go to Kelly in Boston. Kelly. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for betting against the Pats. I really appreciate it. You're a big Pats fan? Huge Pats fan. Yeah, congratulations, because I did and pick, I did pick uh, the Cowboys at and home. And the Cowboys came back for a little while. <laughs> Uh, I was I was starting to uh, n- not even doubt the sports curse. I wasn't. I didn't doubt it. I absolutely <laughs> knew. I was watching that game going. I knew two minutes in yeah. that the Cowboys were going to lose. I had no doubt in my mind. I was like, <laughs> I you you got to be kidding me. It is uncanny. If you don't believe me, here's some more audio from Friday's uh, Opie and Anthony show. This is from Friday. Don't be confused. Here's the biggie. Here's the biggie. You got uh, the Pats and the Cowboys both undefeated. We all know that. We got the Cowboys at home. Jimmy's team. Oh, here's another Jimmy's one. Jimmy's team. Here's another one. I... Not America's team. Jimmy's team. Before this pick goes down, I would like to apologize to the the city I'm not really fond of, the people from Boston. I just have go ahead say say it <laughs> say go Pats go come on say it I uh, actually am going with the Cowboys. Whoa! <laughs> Sincerely, uh, yes. Look, it's circled and everything. Why? I circled wow. Everything. Okay, he did. All right. Good Cow- luck for you. Cowboys at home. That's the advantage right there, my hey, friend. Boston Cowboys over the Pats. Mm-hmm. Bank on it. Nice. <laughs> Bank on it. We'll see how I did uh, on Monday. I was actually saying Patriots against my own team, hoping yeah. that you would. Try. Yeah. <laughs> and here we are back live on Monday, and uh, I oh. said bank on it. And Ant knows usually I would go Pats. That's why I was sure you were going to say Pats. I was feeling good about the Cowboys at home. I, I was I was stunned when you said the Cowboys, <laughs> but then once you said it, I'm like, all right, Pats win, Pats win. <laughs> and uh, Iraq has this from Friday as well. Let's not forget. By the way, go Sox, go. I haven't <laughs> forgotten. Let's go Sox. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's something. Dude, I was actually hiding in my apartment uh, yesterday. It was getting creepy. Because the only two games I did win, I, I'm not I'm not kidding. They were throwaway. I, I flipped a coin, basically. I took the Chiefs and I took the Packers. Yeah, Who no, cares? no passion for the team. I don't care about either one of those teams. Yeah. Uh, and then let's go to Marcus in Montana. Marcus, what's up? 
Hey, thanks, OB. I won 200 bucks on the Flyers Islanders game. <laughs> well, let's not forget hockey. Why? Why would we want to forget that? Opie's the Islanders. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't believe the money that's rolling in. Opie's picks. The mob is going to kidnap Opie and throw him in a room and just ask him who he thinks is going to win certain games. Well, it is true. It is true. I uh, traveled down to Philly Saturday for the big uh, Flyers home opener. Uh, I, I was in the box with the, the fine staff. Uh, the Goodness f- gracious, Opie's in the box. <laughs> I was with uh, the WIP crew down there in Philly. Yep. Watching uh, the Islanders and the Flyers go at it. And it was a really, really close game. Mm-hmm. But the Flyers prevailed, won their home opener over my Islanders. I did pick the Islanders as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's I, it's it's amazing. By the way, I picked a lot of home teams and a lot of home teams lost over mm-hmm. the weekend. I, obviously, the Islanders were on the road. You know that one. I'm, the Flyers probably should have won. I don't know, but I, you know, I went with the, I went with the Islanders. Oh, <sighs> wow! And then of course it continued with uh, the Dolphins. I, I took the Dolphins. Yes, you did. I know they're having a horrible year. They haven't won a game in like nine nine losses in a row going back to last year. But for what were they? 10, home, they were home too. I'm not sure if they were. I don't think. I'm not sure if uh, the I Dolphins don't know if were they home. were at home. Oh, that's right. You took it uh, for um, for Big Ken. Right. For the future father-in-law. Yeah. He wasn't happy with me uh, when we were hanging out yesterday. I wouldn't be either. (laughs) Jesus. (laughs) Wow, this guy made a lot of money. Which one? Uh, Max from Dallas. What's up, Max? Hey, what's going on, boys? Hey. Hey, Oak, thanks, man. I appreciate it. DG Rock. Got me four grand on that past Dallas game. (laughs) Max won 4,000. I'm so glad, like, the sports curse is at least turning in my favor. Like, I'm feeling good. I made a, uh, a lot of people a lot of money over the weekend. Usually Monday is a lot of phone calls going, F you, stop rooting for my team, go F yourself, go to hell, go this, go that. But now people are winning money. Everyone's happy. Yep. Uh, let's say hi to Dan in Pennsylvania. Dan, <laughs> what's up? Hey, boys, what's up? Hey. Hope he's like a retarded Biff from Back to the Future with a sports almanac. Yeah, I hope he got the wrong sports almanac. Damn. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, let's go to Tim in Wisconsin. Tim, what's up? Yeah, well, I just wanted to tell you, your sports curse doesn't only affect the outcome of the game. You actually poison everything sports-related when you open your yap. I uh, I work nights. I'm a local truck driver. I've got 16 hours into the day trying to avoid the score of the Packers game so I can go home and watch it on TiVo. And here, with an hour left to go, your mongoloid ass comes on the radio and tells me who won. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, thanks, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, you, you figured it's safe to you know listen to Opie and Anthony, and they're not going to talk about the Packers. Yeah. You really had no idea the Packers won until no, we told you five minutes I ago. I snapped at people, told they were talking about the score, and the, I fill up gas stations. They're talking about the score. Oh, quiet, quiet, quiet. I'm ignoring TVs. I listened to your replays for 16 straight hours because I knew nothing sports-related could come on on 202. <laughs> All of a sudden, you guys come up live, and in the first five minutes, they're better on the Packers. They won. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, dude. All right, man. Sorry about that. No problem, bro. All right. Let's go to Sean in Cincinnati. Sean, what's up? <laughs> Oh, oh, the Bengals need to win bad. How much do you love the Jets at Cincinnati? Please. <laughs> <I'm> not, <laughs> I got to wait. I got to let it sink in for a few days. It's a little early. Cause now this I'm, guy's chomping at the bit, though. Look at him. Oh, please, you love the Jets, don't you? Oh, God, my God. Now I'm just feeling the pressure to pick the right team. But Because he can, uh, like, he throws a curveball in there because I was, I was sure he was going to go with the Pats. I was sure you were going with the Pats over the weekend, and then... Uh, you, you said Dallas. <laughs> Were you kind of amazed over the weekend just watching these teams? Fall I by the way? was stunned. And it really has gotten my interest up in, in watching some of these games. Because <laughs> I, I, was, I was watching the uh, Dallas Pats game. Yeah, because you were sending out an email immediately. I'm like, wow, Ant's watching football today. That's a like, different for him. Oh, my God. Because, you know, the, 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 uh, the Pats were winning and then Dallas, wow, what a nice uh, little comeback. They They pull ahead. And then it's, I just knew, I knew that they couldn't just hold it and they, they well, were going to lose. Well, I was two for nine. Two for nine. Over the weekend. And that's with a, a, a Kansas City Chiefs pick. 
I don't even know who's on the team, to be honest with you. I just picked, I just circled that on my, yeah. my sheet, and I uh, went Packers. Packers was probably the only game I I cared enough about to to know, you know, go pack know go. So there you go. Uh, as far as football picks go, wow, I was two for uh, two for seven in that. <laughs> and then I went with the Sox, and I went with the Islanders uh, for a two for nine weekend. Yeah, uh, Travis uh, still in the lead as far as the football picks go, but Steve was the weekly winner. This is all courtesy of what Dish Network. Time to get more TV from your TV. Sign up for Dish Network today. It was a lot of fun hanging out, uh, hanging out with a bunch of bitter Yankee fans uh, watching that Sox game, though, because uh, it was just having a few beers and just. And just applauding. What happened in the eleventh inning? I hadn't watched it. Oh, oh my god! The Sox, uh, you know, obviously extra innings, so they were they were tied, um, six six, going into the uh, the eleventh inning. And have they, have they blown a lead going in, or are they caught up and and and, and going to uh, the earlier inning? in the game? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure how that went. I was uh, in transit. I, I think uh, the Indians came back. Yeah, because the Red Sox were winning that game for the yeah. most part, and then the All Indians right. came back, tied it up, and then. You know, stupid me. I went to bed at one in the morning, thinking, thinking this thing is. I I started thinking that I could go to bed at one, get up at seven thirty eight because I wake up early on weekends because this this stupid morning radio we do. Yeah. And I was convinced that the game was going to still be on. I was convinced of it, <laughs> but it lasted another inning and another oh, hour. Yeah. And baseball. That's why baseball is just is just killing itself. It really is. Yeah, with the. Uh... Obviously, games. obviously, a lot of people in Cleveland and a lot of people in Boston are going to watch a five, five and a half hour baseball game. But how do you get the rest of the country involved in that? Uh, you get five and a half bitter hours Yankee to watch fans. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't five and a half hours, but I think it was pushing five hours for a baseball game. Holy crap! Yeah, Who yeah. Apparently, s- I guess the other yeah, the Indians caught up and uh, passed them in the eleventh. So they had it locked up. <laughs> uh, let's, oh, that sports curse is great. Let's say hi to Bill on Long Island. Bill. Hello, oh, Bill. Opie, I want to buy a new Jeep. <laughs> Who's winning the Giant Falcon game tonight? Give it to me, baby. Maybe I should pick that one. <laughs> no, no. Oh, God. Jim Morton, you're a god, by the way. Oh, thank oh, you, Mr. <laughs> Maybe a little later on. Who's who's winning the game tonight? I got to wake up still. It's still early. All right. I'll hang on and listen to it. Let it let it let it sit and fester for a while. Let's go to Brett in Rochester. Brett, what's up? Hey, what's up, Bobby? I just wanted to say, you know, just stay away from Buffalo. You screwed me last year, guys. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I was going for the Sabres all the way last year. And yeah, it didn't work out too well for the Buffalo Sabres after the Islanders were knocked out. So, no, this sports curse goes back to our NEW days. This goes way back. Yep. We just kind of mention it every once in a while, but lately we've been talking about it, and it's just been working like a charm. <laughs> the Phillies was just amazing. Three and out after I, I, I threw my support behind them. All right, Brett. Let's go to Justin in Dallas. Justin, what's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, man. Hey, hey I just wanted to call and say, Jim, I'm a trucker, and I took the day off just to get a hotel room so I could get on HBO and watch your special. I thought it was great, and I thought it was really classy how you got O and A to stand up and acknowledge it, man. That was very, very cool. Thank you, man. They actually didn't show up. I had to superimpose them. We had two actors, <laughs> and I just put open hands head. Yeah, of course, man. I- I'm very happy. I, I love when the- uh, they come to my shows. It's not hey, the Polite. Just, I look up. Oh, okay, how do you talk? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, no, that's sorry, all right. Sorry. My my explanation was getting boring and long winded, and you stepped in as you should. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I hope you get colon cancer. Stay away from the Cowboys. See you, boys. <laughs> all right, take care. Why? I wish my business. What else? Sports curses yeah. making people want you to get colon cancer. What else do you want from me? I picked the Cowboys at home. That was a good freaking pick. It's also not his fault. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's not his fault that he does it. He picks teams that he wants to win. Just a poor guy wanting his team to win. Let's go to and Rob. They lose. Rob in 